big win for the Blue Jays. A 3-1 win. They have won a game in this series. Alec Manoa picks up his 15th win, 35th save of the season for Jordan Romano and a big hit by Whit Merrifield. This was a game the Blue Jays had to win. If they had any thoughts of getting into the playoffs, they lean on Alec Manoa. He comes up huge for him. And then you're right, Whit Merrifield with the big one for the Blue Jays. First pitch breaking ball deposits it in the outfield for a three run home run. Blue Jays snap, snap that losing streak and have a chance to split the series tomorrow afternoon. They split the series. They they leave town with a two game cushion over the Tampa Bay Rays in the wild card race. Thanks for watching, folks. The Blue Jays win a 3 1. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Stay tuned. Here's Sportsnet Central with Martine and Eric. You can watch the Mariners and Royals on Sportsnet now. Of course, the Blue Jays interested in what happens with Seattle and the Cardinals and Dodgers are on Sportsnet 360. We're going to take you to L.A. after this edition of Sportsnet Central as the Albert Pujols watch continues. Of course, he hit those two long bombs yesterday to reach 700. Hey, everybody. Welcome inside our Sportsnet Central studios. I'm Martine Geyer alongside Eric Thomas on a Saturday night where the wild card jockeying continues. The Blue Jays finally coming up with the victory in what felt like Really a must win after they dropped the first two games of the series at the trot. Yeah, and this game was tight as the wild card race itself. A pitcher's duel for a while there between Manoa and Rasmussen. Scoreless into the seventh, and then Whit Merrifield, of all people, breaks it open with his third homer of the series. He is having a time at the trot. And for their reaction and the recap, we'll send things over to Hazel May and Joe Siddle. Well, Eric and Martin, we finally found the one Blue Jay who loves playing at <laughs> Tropicana Field. Uh, as you mentioned, Eric, with Merrifield, with his third home run of the series, get this, that brings his total to six homers in just 16 career games at Tropicana Field. John Schneider, Joe, said pregame, he's getting hot at the right time. We just love the way he's swinging the bat right now. And I'm sure when you're acquired at the trade deadline, a guy like Whit Merrifield, who has been a very, very good major league hitter, you want to contribute. And now he's in a pennant race playing for a winner. And he didn't get to do that in Kansas City, though it has to be an exciting time for Whit Merrifield. And then when you can contribute and get a little bit more of a chance to play, it's all very good. But when you get an opportunity to see Danny Jansen pitch it ahead of you for Rymel Tapia, this was the platoon matchup. I liked it. Rymel Tapia didn't like it. No. And that's okay. Nobody likes getting pitch hit for it. But this was the right move by John Schneider. But he was able to, Whit was able to in the on-deck circle, watch this at bat. He saw a couple of sliders. I'm waiting to hear from Whit Merrifield, but I got to believe he was looking first pitch breaking ball. And this is that sweeping slider from Rayleigh coming down and in on him. And it just looked to me like he was looking middle in and possibly looking soft. It could have just been a reaction, but it was a very good reaction by Merrifield. And this is why when you do make these deals, and we've talked about the trade deadline a lot, but when you acquire a guy like Whit Merrifield, you never know what's going to happen. Well, guess what happened? Santiago Espinal is injured right now. So Kevin Biggio has been scuffling, and now Whit's getting a chance to play. And when you can do this, you're going to keep playing because I know don't know many managers that don't play hot hands. And I'm sure we'll see That's Whit right. Merrifield in there again tomorrow. Speaking of which, Mr. Trop standing by with our Arash Madani. Whit, it was yesterday. You said who wouldn't want to be in a race like this. And then the seventh inning, you get your opportunity and do it. You gave a stare down back to that dugout. What, what was that moment like then to deliver such a big shot? A big moment. Yeah, it's a big game for us. Uh, I think it's no secret that we struggled here uh, this year. So it was nice to kind of push ahead and, um, and finally get a winner, finally get a win here at, at the trial. It's been a tough week. One and four coming into this one. Just how vital was it to get a win today? It was big. Uh, this is a team that we're going up against. Uh, you know, we want to get to the playoffs, and we want we want home field of the playoffs, and we're fighting against these guys. So, um, big win for us. Um, you know, we lost a couple in a row, but it's kind of how baseball goes. Good teams bounce back and find ways to win. What is it about you in this place, man? Not just Thursday with the two home runs. We looked it up. It's like one out of every 2.7 at bats. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, these guys in here give me a hard time about it because I guess it's they don't like hitting here, but I, I don't I don't mind it. So uh, I don't know what it is. Um, 
seems to be a little shorter than you know fields I'm used to back in, in Kansas City and uh, so I'll take advantage and see it hit it I, so, some fields some guys just seem to see what see the ball well at and this is just one of those for me you had a front row back row seat of that Alec Manoa performance and it just feels the bigger the stage the bigger the game this dude delivers what'd you make of it that was huge huge game uh, from from big Puma and he he delivered uh, everything that we wanted and you know somewhat expected from him he delivered and he's done it time and time again and it's a pleasure to play behind what's it like being in the teeth of a September playoff race man Ooh, nothing like it it's beautiful can't wait to go wait, uh, go to sleep and come do it again tomorrow see you tomorrow yep Arash, thank you very much. A big moment uh, for Whit Merrifield, a big-time performance by Alec Manoa. With their thoughts, let's head back to the booth and check in with Buck and Pat. Gentlemen. Well, Hazel, we talked about Alec Manoa and how important his start was, and boy, did he answer the bell. A terrific outing, seven innings, no runs on four hits. He dropped his ERA to 231. That's the third best in the American League. You know, there are certain guys who have the it factor, and we noticed that from Alec Manoa from day one when we saw him in spring training. He has that, hey, you got need a big game. You need someone to come out and do it. I am your guy. He started off on a house of fire. The Rays did not get their first hit until the fourth inning but then they had runners in scoring position in the fourth the fifth and the sixth he just has a way to dial back for something extra when he needs it when he needs to get big outs he can do that eight strikeouts tonight a lot of them with those guys in scoring position when he needed the Rays, who had scored 20 runs in the first two ball games of this series shutting them down coming up with big pitch after big pitch all told 113 a season high in those eight strikeouts you can see him right there yeah, and his ERA falls to 231 as we mentioned he trails only Justin Verlander and Dylan Cease in the ERA race in the American League and the Blue Jays tomorrow send Ross Stripling to the mound against Shane McClanahan they win that game they split the four games and all is good they would have a two game edge on Tampa Bay for that first wild card spot Hazel Buck and Pat, thank you very much. Uh, Alec Manoa, we know he's dominant against right-handed hitters, and you want to spotlight that performance against Randy Arozarena in the sixth with two on and one away, Joe. We talked a lot earlier on Blue Jay Central before the game today, Hazel, about Alec Manoa, the person. What a competitor he is. And of course, he's a big physical presence on the mound, but he can really bear down with runners on base. And in the sixth inning, it was the biggest trouble he got into. A couple of runners on, and Randy Rosarena, who has cashed in a lot against the Blue Jays. It was a great matchup. Big righty against the righty. But what do you do? First pitch breaking ball. Now, first thing I saw was that's not a very good swing. Didn't look good. What do you do? Come back with it. He missed. But what Alec does very well is if he's going to miss with the breaking ball, he misses away. Gets another bad swing from a Rosarena. He's up one and two. So another one. Not in danger at all because you're leaving it way away. He comes back with the fastball. A Rosarena did not like the call. Kirk had a pickoff play on a first base with Vladdy. But you can see he was at the bottom of the zone. And I think he just froze him. Yeah, he's telling his manager, don't be angry. You run me up right there. But then he comes back and gets Peralta on the fly ball, gets out of trouble, and wouldn't you know it, in the seventh inning, the Blue Jays cash in three runs. It's amazing how often that happens, but this big man, what he is doing down the stretch for his team, it's one thing to have a great season, an all-star season that he has had, but he keeps doing it. And that's probably, to me, the most remarkable part because this is a guy that came out of college and he's in his second big league season, his first full big league season, and he keeps doing it. We can only hope now, Blue Jays fans, yeah. stay strong, big man, because they need him down the stretch for game one of the playoffs. I knew you were going to bring that Wherever up. It's played, Never Hazel. mind. <laughs> Alec Manoa in his 50th career start already turning into an ace uh, of this staff. How about Jordan Romano coming off two straight blown saves? Uh, Joe, back to his nasty self. Back to his nasty self. I saw a little difference today. You know what I saw, Hazel? I thought he mixed it up a little bit better. He went back to the fastball, and I just think you can say he's 50-50 with his fastball and slider combination, but it's just during each at-bat. You have to mix it up in and at 
bat too. You can't throw three and four consecutive sliders to a hitter. So he had the good fastball. You've got a 3-1 lead. Runners on first and third here. This is a big situation, but again, staying aggressive with the heater. Doesn't mean you can't throw a slider, but you know you've got that in the tank, and that's what I thought today. He was a little bit more aggressive with the fastball, and when you have that 98 and 99 in your back pocket, it plays with the slider, and then you mix the sliders in, and that's good, but when you come up and flip slider after slider after slider, you gain a reputation. Hitters can sit on it, and it can be a great pitch. It is an excellent pitch for Jordan, but I think it's a more excellent pitch when it's paired with the fastball. I thought he mixed it beautifully today. John Schneider on line one for you. <laughs> uh, the Blue Jays will go for a split of this all-important four-game series on Sunday. Joe and I will return to watch Ross Stripling take the mound. Sportsnet's coverage begins with Blue Jays Central at 1230 Eastern. We will look forward to seeing you then.